Hello. So in this video, I will take you through uh, a worked example and I've uh, termed this session two for the one variable case of optimization. My name is Elias. All right, so we are given this uh, situation. We are asked to find and classify the stationary points of the following function and the function is f of x equal 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4. And then we are also asked to sketch the graph of this function. Now, before we, uh, we uh, work on this function, it is important to recall uh, what we discussed in session one where I took you through the procedures or rather steps in uh, establishing stationary points as well as, uh, you know, uh, coming up with the graph. So in this uh, video, let's start by first finding the first order uh, derivative for this function. So the first order derivative requires that we differentiate this function with respect to the variable x or we want to find f prime x, which is the first derivative of this given function. So I recommend that you watch one of my videos on differentiation. And uh, if you do that, you will find that the derivative of this function is 6x squared plus 6x minus 12. So what we do is that to get the derivative that we have here, from here, we differentiate this function term by term. So we start with this term here. So you drop the 3 and multiply that by 2. Then when you multiply, you subtract 1 from the power. So 3 by 2 will be 6. And then uh, when you subtract 1 from the power, you remain with a 2. We do the same here. We drop the power 2, which will multiply this 3 here. It will become a 6. And then you subtract 1 from the power. You remain with 6x. We do the same here. The power of x is 1, so we drop the 1 to multiply the 12. Then we subtract 1 from that power of 1. We remain with 0. So this will disappear because anything power 0 will be 1. We just remain with negative 12. And from the rules that I recommended you to watch, derivative of a constant is 0. Next, after finding the derivative, we need to get the first order condition. Remember, first order condition requires that we set our first derivative equal to zero. So we are equating our first derivative to zero, implying that uh, we'll have a 6x squared plus 6x minus 12 equal zero. So I will reduce my quadratic function here by dividing through by 6 so that I get x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. From here, uh, there are many methods that you can use to solve uh, this quadratic function. I recommend that you watch one of the videos I recorded on methods of solving quadratic functions, one of them being uh, the completing the square method, uh, factorization method, or uh, using the quadratic formula. For the purpose of this video or this recording, I will use the factorization method. So I'm substituting the middle term x there uh, with a 2x minus x. So these two parts here, two terms, I've come in to substitute the positive x here. And then I will factorize this in two parts. So I will uh, divide my equation into two parts. So I will cut here. Okay, so the uh, the first part, uh, I can see that x is common, so I'll factor out the x, and then what I will remain with is x plus 2. Then I do the same here. What I'll have is negative 1, open bracket, x plus 2. And you can uh, go back to this function or this equation by simply expanding uh, the, the, uh, the terms in the brackets. So what I'll have then is uh, all those outside the brackets, I'll put them together, x minus 1, and then x plus 2. This will be the factorized version of our quadratic equation here. And we equate this to 0. What this means is that either x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. 
if x minus 1 is equal to 0, then it will mean our x will equal positive 1 because this negative 1 then will cross the equal sign and will become positive 1. And if uh, x plus 2 is the one that is equal to 0, then our x will equal negative 2 because, again, the positive 2 here will cross the equal sign. So x will equal positive 1 or x will equal negative 2. Now, here we have uh, two x coordinates to symbolize or to indicate that we will have uh, two stationary points. One stationary point will have the x coordinate of 1 and the other stationary point will have the x coordinate of 2. So let's find those uh, stationary points by uh, finding the corresponding uh, uh, y coordinates. So at x equal 1, I will get my 1 and put into this uh, equation, substitute x here. So what I will have then is uh, 2 open bracket 1 uh, to the power 3, 3 open brackets, 1 to the power 2, and then 12 open brackets, 1 plus 4. So I've just substituted the, the x there. I've put a 1 in place of x. When I simplify this function or this arithmetic, what I will have is negative 3, which means that one of the stationary points is 1, comma, negative 3. So one stationary point will have the coordinates 1, comma, negative 3. Remember, we said the, the quadratic function gave us two uh, values of x, meaning two x coordinates, 1 and uh, negative 2. So at x equal negative 2, we do the same. We substitute uh, this negative 2 into this uh, function here. If we do that, this is what we are going to have. And simplifying these arithmetics, we will have uh, 24 to mean that the other stationary point will have coordinates negative 2, 24. All right, so we have found our stationary points. It is now time for us to determine the nature of these stationary points. We need to classify these two stationary points. And by classifying, we mean determine whether it, uh, any of these stationary points is a maximum or a minimum or an inflection point so recall from the first video that in uh, determining the nature of these stationary points we use the second order condition and the second order condition requires that we get the second order derivative of the given function here so let's go on and uh, find the second order derivative. So since we found our first order derivative to be 6x squared plus 6x minus 12, I'll go ahead and differentiate this uh, first order derivative. And if I differentiate, what I'll have is uh, 12x plus 6. So this 12x plus 6 is my second order derivative. So let's go ahead now and uh, determine the nature or classify the stationary points. So remember, we have two x coordinates, a 1 and a negative 2. So we start with a 1. At x equal 1, we get this 1 and this uh, replace the x in this second order uh, derivative. So by doing so, we'll have 12 times 1 plus 6, and this will give us 18. Now, since our second order derivative evaluated at a value of x, which is equal to 1, is positive, positive 18, it means then that the stationary point 1, comma, negative 3 is a minimum point or is a local minimum. Because our second order derivative evaluated that 1 is greater than 0 or is positive, it means that our stationary point with coordinates 1, comma, negative 3 is a local minimum point. Let's uh, uh, determine the nature of the stationary point with coordinates negative 2, comma, 24. So now we are finding that at x equal negative 2. Again, we'll substitute the x in this second order derivative 
and uh, put negative two there. So in doing so, we'll have 12 uh, multiplied by negative two plus six, and this will give us negative 18. Now, since our second order derivative evaluated at negative two is a negative, it means that the stationary point with coordinates uh, negative two comma 24 is a local maximum point. So we have uh, classified our stationary points. One stationary point with coordinates one comma negative three is a local minimum point and the other stationary point with uh, coordinates negative two comma 24 is a local maximum point. All right, so in sketching the graph, we take note of our stationary points. One stationary point has uh, coordinates negative two comma 24, and we said this is a maximum point. So you put your mark there on negative two comma 24. The other stationary point is one comma negative three. So again, I put another mark here. Remember, this is my y, my y axis, and this is my x axis. So 1, negative 3 is somewhere here. And by looking at this function, our vertical intercept is positive 4. So it means that our graph, once drawn, will come and cut on positive 4, which uh, is somewhere uh, here on this graph. Then you can go ahead and use your, uh, your, your free hand and the sketch so you join this point so this point will be the maximum so the curve will bend then go down come and cut on four then go down here this will be a minimum then you sketch up and this is how the graph of our function 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 will look like all right so thank you for watching if you have questions, don't forget to send an email to muaoelias at gmail.com or send a WhatsApp message to the number showing on your screen. You can also feel free to share this video and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more of the coming videos. I will be with you in session three where I will give an application uh, kind of an example in optimization. See you in the next video.